Pop quiz. What is the most important piece of equipment you own when it comes to live streaming? Three, two, one. It's your microphone. If you're from my TikTok, you will know that I advocate for microphones above all else when it comes to streaming. The microphone is more important than your camera, than your lights, than your chair, than anything else. Your microphone is the number one most important piece of equipment you will ever own for your streaming gig. Now, why is that, you might ask? The very first thing someone will notice when they click into a live stream is not visual. It's audio. It's what they hear in their ears or surrounding their room. If your microphone sounds like a garbage tin can hooked up to a loudspeaker funneled then through a pig's asshole into their headphones, it doesn't matter how dope your webcam is, how cool your lights are, how amazing your animations are, or any of that. If they can't even listen to your stream, they are not going to sit there and watch it. Vice versa, however, if your audio is crisp and clear and they can hear what you're saying perfectly, the music is sounding just right and everything sounds great, even if the visual is dropped down to like 280p and your animations are static and your wallpaper doesn't look that great and your webcam is subpar at best, that doesn't matter. They can listen and enjoy and they'll stick around and watch or even like most people do, put you on a second monitor or even minimize, but still listen to you in the background because the audio is good. And when it comes to live streaming Dungeons and Dragons, this is more important than ever before. The amount of people who watch Dungeons and Dragons live streams, but don't actually watch them and just listen to them in the background while doing other things, or even just listen to the podcast variation of them afterwards, is staggering. And through my own research, it is probably the number one thing I can recommend to almost every single live Dungeons & Dragons game on Twitch. You, the Dungeon Master, and your players need better microphones. Your overlay doesn't need more work. Your campaign itself doesn't need more work. You all need better microphones, or you need to use the microphones you have properly. I'll give you a perfect example right here. The whole time you've been listening to this, you've been listening to this on a shotgun microphone held above the camera out of view for good clear audio. But now you're listening to the built-in microphone on my camera. You can tell it's vastly different. If the entire video was done in this way, it's probably not going to be great. Sure, you can hear what I'm saying, but compared to this, it's nowhere near. And I full-heartedly bet that all of you watching this right now would rather listen to this video on this microphone than the other one. But this video is only a few minutes long. Could you imagine listening to the other microphone for four hours? I sure as hell can't. Now here's the cold hard truth. When it comes to live streaming your Dungeons and Dragons game, if you want to be the DM and you got a bunch of players together and you want to live stream your game or a one shot or whatever, your story, your layout, all of that, second nature. The very first thing you need to focus on is, is your microphone good quality? Because I'll tell you right now, if you're using a built-in headset microphone, it's not. People are going to listen to this for hours. They need to be able to not get ear fatigue from it. And if you don't have the money for a microphone, then guess what? You're gonna have to learn to save up some money or ask for one for Christmas. Because you're shooting yourself in the foot if you decide to make this a thing with microphones built into headsets from 1822. Here are three microphones I recommend looking out for if you want to get something decent for yourself or your players. Blue Snowball, HyperX Quadcast, or the Razer Siren Mini. Any of these three microphones are great for getting into the microphone market in terms of good quality microphones. If you don't have the money for a good microphone or your players don't have the money for a good microphone, don't live stream your game. I'm not the kind of guy to tell you, just go for it, just try it out, see if you have fun, see if you enjoyed doing it, because you will quickly learn that people will jump into your live stream to check it out and they will quickly leave. And you will feel disheartened and you'll wonder, well, why aren't they staying? Nine times out of 10, it's probably because they can't deal with the audio. But let's say you already have a decent microphone. Let's say all of your players have decent microphones and you don't get ear fatigue from talking to any of them and you're all set on that market. What do you do next? Well, 
That's in video number two right here, unless you're watching this video early, in which case it's not out and this probably just relates to another Dungeons and Dragons video, but when it does come out, it'll be right here. And if you wanna check out any of those three microphones, links to them are in the description down below. They are affiliate links, so if you click on any of them and then purchase anything afterwards, it does help me out a little bit. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, tell your friends. If you didn't, you tell me. Have yourself a good one, everybody. Skoll, and I will see you in the next video in part two.